Hi y'all, welcome to another video. If you are new, my name is Lauren. Today I'm going to be trying this French girl makeup. It is this kind of like laid back glam. It's very, very French. It's just like, that's the only people that you, I feel like you see this just wearing it casually. I was actually gravitating towards a look like this because it is so quick and effortless, but just looks really, really glam so let's just hop right in so first i'm just starting with the nyx marshmallow primer on the face just to smooth everything out and help with a little bit of longevity and then i'm only going to spot conceal basically in my problem areas which is just the center of my face i go around the eyes for the dark circles and a little bit in the center of the face for redness. Then I'm just setting the rest of my face with a really, really light layer of the Bare Minerals Foundation. This has a really, really great skin-like texture to it, and it keeps the skin looking really, really fresh. It actually has a little bit of a glow to it. Then I'm just taking a pretty neutral bronzer, not too matte, not too shimmery, just very skin-like, and I'm going to bronze up the face with this. I also use the pink blush from this look. It is the perfect pink. It's actually named Romance, which is perfect. You just want a really nice rosy pink romantic blush, and this was the perfect shade. And then I'm going to take some neutral browns, nothing too dark, but you do want a little something something. I'm going to run this through the crease. This is optional. You could also just use the bronzer, but I was using this Cara Beauty palette that has like eyeshadow, bronzer, and blush in it. So I just went ahead and used the eyeshadow on the eyes and I did this in the crease and on the lower lash line. And then I'm just taking the really, really pale pink that is a matte shade and I'm running that over the lid just to keep it really clean looking and really light and bright, I guess. Then I'm just taking the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Stuff. It's like a thick brow gel with fibers in it to fill in and fluff up the brow. And I basically just kept layering this up in my bald spots to get that fluffy, undone type of brow. Nothing too crazy structured. It is almost like you want this to look like you took like five minutes to get glam. So I didn't want to do anything crazy structured or over the top, even for the brows. And it's kind of the same concept for the whole face. So I'm not going to do any fake eyelashes today. I'm just going to take the Essence Lash Princess and really coat this in the lash, making sure I get a lot at the root to kind of make them look fuller and kind of just giving them a fluttery look. If you want, you could maybe try some individual lash or something like that just to give you a little bit of extra volume or length or anything like that but I just wanted to keep it really really simple then I'm just taking this wet and wild felt tip liner and I'm filling in my mole this is a mole that I have I just have to always color it back in after I put on some makeup and then I decided to do faux freckles you of course don't have to do this but I think it's a fun little addition if you have the time or the want to put on some fake freckles. It's really fun for this look. It keeps it looking really, really fresh and undone, but really just cute and romantic. That is really the word that I feel like fits this look. It is just very, very romantic. So then I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm using a Wet n Wild red lip liner. Now the one thing I wish I did was use a different red lip. I used my Rare Beauty red liquid lipstick and it's a very, very orange, which was fine for my vacation because I was at the beach and it gives it this beachy look, but it just doesn't fit this overall look. I don't know, like I wish I would have used my e.l.f. red liquid lipstick because it's just more neutral to cool tone and it's a little bit darker, but that's fine. And I'm taking just a fluffy brush to kind of fluff this out. I didn't want it to be too, too structured. I noticed in a lot of the pictures that it is really just a quick red lip. It's almost like they put on red lipstick like it's chapstick or something. It is nothing that's really, really overly structured. And then I decided I needed a little, little bit more blush, so I put on more of that pink romantic blush from the Cara Beauty palette. And it looked like more in person. I feel like it's not picking up on camera, but most of the girls I saw with this have a pretty blushy look, so I did put, you know, a fair amount of blush. 
I'm a blush lover anyway, so it's kind of just like my normal amount, but yeah, it's a very blushy look. And then I decided to just keep my natural hair, just a little wave to it. This is just my air dried wavy hair and that is the final look i feel like it's just really cute and romantic and fun and if you want a really cool undone glam then the french girl look is the look for you thank you guys so much for watching everything i used on or off camera i will list in the description bar down below along with my other youtube channel my instagram and my tiktok so you can follow me everywhere thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in another video very soon bye